feeling, I'm feeling pumped, guys. But but it's also really hot in here, really humid. You could almost say um, you could almost say things are getting very pump tropic in here. Let's go. Hello there guys, welcome back to yet another one with us, The Review Bros. My name's Aaron and it's really good to have you guys joined here for this review today of a stimulant-free pump formula by the guys over at Gat Sport, and that is Pump Tropic, the new formula from these guys. A lot of you guys have been asking our thoughts on it and we're going to get through the usuals today, the taste, the price, the label and primarily its effects in the real world, in the gym. So is it going to be the next product you pick up? And if you're new to the channel, please do us a massive favour. Subscribe. We put out free honest reviews per week at the very least. Do like the video and drop your thoughts below in the comments. It all helps and we get back to each and every one of you. So really appreciate it. Let's not keep you waiting. Let's get into Pump Tropic. Okay, people out there, we are into the first segment of this review, and that is the taste and the mixability of the product. You could argue it's the least important battle in it with price, but you know what? When we consider there are some seriously good pre-workouts on the market that also taste very good, I do think taste is relatively important. And this one comes in three different flavours. It comes in Fruit Punch, our good old friend. It comes in the one we've got today for the sake of this review, the Pineapple Orange Guava. And it also comes in another flavour, which is Strawberry Mango. And do you know what, guys? I think in absolute truth, I would have chosen this one had I have had free choice. So let's do it. So it's two scoops, guys. Two scoops will get you a nice... 13.3 grams, which is actually quite light, I would argue, for today's calibre of pre-workouts where it concerns non-skin pump formulas. Normally see them around 20 grams and upwards. So in go the two scoops. I will say it's got a very orangey smell in the air. Not so pineapple-y. Nice though. Can't say the smell test has been passed. So here we go. There we go, guys. We've got not a lot of frothing at all. We do have mixability on the bottom. Some little bits and pieces, probably as to be expected. I would argue, though, this is probably better than an average pump formula when it concerns mixability. And maybe that's because it's a lighter scoop weight. Got a bit of fizz. So let's do it. Pineapple, orange, guava going down. It is pretty good. I give them that. It is nice. It's sweet. There's no nasty aftertone. It is a little bit chalky, as to be expected. Perhaps there's some glycerol in this formula. We'll get into the label soon. Honestly, what would I give it? I would have to say a solid 8.5 out of 10. It's definitely doable. It tastes more like orangey guava than it does the pineapple. But all in all, a good flavour. I would recommend it, and it's a good start to the review. It's time for that pricing segment. How much is this product gonna set you back? Do you need to get a mortgage out to get your hands on it? We're gonna go through it 100%. So we're looking at going to the official Gat Sports website where you can pick this up with no discount code. We are trying to attain one. So if we do find one, we will drop it in the comments below and pin that comment to the top. And we will also chuck it in the description. So you know it might be coming. But at this point, we don't have it. So we're going by the standalone normal price that you guys would be paying. And that is $44.99 for the tub. Now it is, in truth, it's not, I've always said this, it's, it's 20 or 40 servings. It says 40 there, but it's kind of like saying, would you do half of a protein scoop? Would you have half of a dinner? No, everyone or most people, like literally most people out there, will be doing the full two scoops for the maximum and uh, fully um, 
fully uh, needed amount of uh, ingredient. I'm lost for the word there, but you know what I mean. So we're looking at 20 servings. Now, when you do the maths, you divide it up by that 44.99. It comes in at a $2.24 mark. Now, UK guys, that would be a pound and 64 pence per go. Now, we have a consistent scale here. You might not have seen it. It basically compares pre-workouts from across the entire world. Everything we've ever done, an absolute average price of pre-workout is a 5 out of 10. Now, this one is more expensive than an average pre-workout. It's a 4 out of 10 on the scale. So it's slightly more expensive than an average at that pricing point. Now... Do we think that's worth it? We're gonna get into the label and the effects. You guys can be the judge of that. So we're into the label. Where are you spending that money? Are you getting the right amount for your money effectively? And what I will say is we've got a semi-proprietary blend here, which in my opinion is a thumbs down. I would have liked to have seen full transparency here. That being said, they have broken things up a little more than a completely proprietary blend. And I do believe for the most part, we are looking at relatively fully dosed ingredients, but I'm gonna try and work it out as we go through this. So we're looking at two scoops for that 13.3 gram total. We start off betaine anhydrous, which we would like to see at 2.5. So that will take up half of that matrix straight away. Glycerol powder is Hydra Prime, five. I would like to honestly see that at about two grams for the cell volumization, hyperhydration, drawing in moisture, nutrients, everything for the pumps. The beta anhydrous there, I should have mentioned, also helps with endurance as well as the other benefits with the glycerol. So there we're taking up 4.5 grams already. And then ultimately the sodium and potassium probably will only be a couple of 100 milligrams each just for muscular contraction. And again, helping to draw in moisture into the muscle cell for pump. So ultimately, I do believe that first blend is relatively right. The mind to muscle nootropic matrix, I do think is slightly underdosed. And I do mean slightly, I don't mean massively. For example, the l tyrosine for the focus and concentration, I'd like to see that at least, in honesty, a gram. So that's taking up a fair amount of that blend straight away. DMAE, probably 750. So that's 1.75 already gone. Lion's Mane Mushroom, probably 500 in truth. So that's taking us up to 2.25. So we are very close now to our full blend, if you see where I'm coming from. Lion's Mane Mushroom is a new topic that's going to help you keep in the zone. Choline potatrate. This one worries me that it's a bit lower down than the lion's mane because in all honesty, it's not a brilliant nootropic. It helps with the brain, helps with the focus and concentration. Uh, with the choline potatrate, in truth, I'd like to see that at least a gram. So that's taking us over three grams for the blend. The alpha GPC, I can imagine, strongly imagine, is at 300 milligrams. So as you can see, we're slightly over if we was getting fully dosed ingredients, but not by a huge margin, not by a massive margin for the focus and concentration benefits it brings. And we wrap off this label with no digestive aid, but with arginine silicate inositol, should I say, as nitrosogene. Now that's been shown to help bolster nitric oxide levels up within the bloodstream, thus leading to pump. Now, ultimately, you're gonna be looking for a citrulline blend in there. There's no citrulline, which is different for pre-work for pump pre-workouts on today's market so how's it actually going to come together i would like to have seen honestly eight grams of citrulline thrown up to make this over 21 grams of scoop that's just me that might be you you can decide as we get into the effects of this product <music> So that moves us very, very nicely into the effects of this product, Pump Tropic, by the guys at Gat Sports. We've got them to thank for sending it over. So we're going to be keeping this 100% honest and 100% transparent as we move through the elements this pre workout was designed for. So if you're completely new to pre workout formulas, this is a non stim 
pump formula. Now, what do I mean by that? It's not designed to give you energy. There's no caffeine or other stimulatory properties from this. So it's not gonna give you energy. So if you're looking for a pre-workout that gives you energy, this would not be that one. That being said, this does deliver more than just a pump formula because it has the nootropics in there. And what do I mean by nootropics? I mean the focused ingredients that really wake up the brain. They almost, in truth, they almost feel like stimulants because you feel more alert, on the ball, focused, you know, with it really. And that is what a nootropic non-stim formula is. So let's start off with the pumps. And I'm gonna do that because pumps were the first thing on this. Now, in truth, the pumps were good. They were definitely good. I'm no way in any shape or form gonna say they weren't good. They just weren't up there with the absolute elite of the elite 30 gram of scoops, 35 gram scoop pump formulas that you get today. Well, would I honestly give the pumps out of 10 for a pump formula? I'd give them a seven out of 10. I do think they were good. You felt more contractions, you felt more vascularity, you felt a bit fuller, a bit of a watery pump, and you definitely noticed, I do believe, more contraction. And I think that's also leaning into the nootropics because you have that mind-muscle connection. We've often said it here on the channel. We do believe, it's gonna sound funny, we do believe nootropics actually aid pump more than pump ingredients. And that's just simply because you are absolutely focused on the muscle, working hard, and simply developing a really good pump. I really think that's important. So pumps for me from this product was seven out of 10. I do believe it's holding back a little bit and I'm not too sure why. I'm not too sure why they didn't just add a nice eight grams of citrulline on top to really bolster that pump nitric oxide production activity. It's almost like they designed it to be stacked with other products, which is actually what it does say somewhere on this container, is that it can be stacked with other pre-workouts. So I do believe they didn't want to go absolutely maximum revs on the pumps, simply because they want you to kind of stack it with something else, potentially something else from, um, from the GAT series. I'm not too sure. So I do believe they left some in reserve. Now looking at the new tropics, the focus side of things, I actually think that was better than the pumps for me. The, the focus from this does feel almost, and I do mean almost, like you've taken a stim product, because it does wake you up, it does get you in the zone, it gives you that laser-like vision that really gets you putting in work, exercise to exercise to exercise. So I'd honestly give the focus element from this pre-workout a good, a good nine out of 10. You know what, it really was. I felt in the zone, it felt good. I would have liked, now this is me talking me, Craig would say the same thing. I would have liked to have seen the addition of beta alanine in this product to give it a more stimulant type feel, even though that's not a stimulant. It kind of makes you feel completely not cold turkey if you're coming off some of the stimulant pre-workouts and trying to take a stim break. But again, that is so subjective if you like beta alanine or not. For me, that would have given it an extra half point. So all in all, absolutely talking 100% transparently to you guys, I would give this an eight out of 10 as a non-stim formula in general. I think it's good. I think it's going towards great, but it's not quite hitting great. It's not quite hitting amazing. You know, it's got a little bit more to give us before we're looking at getting that nines and 10 out of 10 scores, but it's good. It's very good. Now the truth, this is where we come in and we are very, very honest. I don't personally think it's quite, quite worth that price in point, but it's very, 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 very close. Especially if we manage to get our hands on a discount code, then then we're probably, we're probably ticking boxes. So all in all, a solid choice, an eight out of 10 choice, I would say I'd recommend it. It's hitting pump and focus to good levels, just not quite amazing levels for the reasons I've mentioned. So does that sound right for you? Is this gonna be the next product you pick up? We've got the other gap in pre-workouts to get reviewed for you guys, including the Nitroflex. And I do believe we have the GAT Nitroflex Burn. I could be wrong, it's somewhere behind there, but somewhere in the stack, guys. So there we have it. All of the good is drop your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like this very video. Appreciate you watching. Have you tried this? Would you? Let us know. And at this point, we say it. 
stay pumped and focused and this will do the trick.